right. Okay. Today we are back with yet another pentatonics reaction video. Uh, we're going to check out their cover or I guess several covers of Daft Punk. Yep. Uh, they put together a medley. A medley. So this is our second pentatonics reaction video. Yep. And the people have spoken. So let's start out with a few comments here. So Derry Wallace says, welcome to the rabbit hole, guys. Check out their Daft Punk mashup like now and prepare to be blown away. Like right now? Like right now, as right soon now. as possible, ASAP. All right. Kevin O'Connor says, Daft Punk has to be next. The greatest thing you have ever heard. I love receiving comments like that. Mm -hmm. Just short and sweet, but the greatest thing you have ever, ever heard. heard all right uh another comment comes from 423 catherine uh, 423 catherine writes please check out their daft punk medley you will genuinely forget that there are no instruments mm. you will be blown away this is uh, uh they're hyping this up yeah I, this was the one that i saw most in the comments yeah. Daft Punk, you have to do Daft Punk next. Daft Punk medley. And I, I've heard very little Daft Punk in my lifetime. Right. They were obviously all over the radio. Yeah. You know, when we were teenagers. Yeah. Right. But yeah, I don't know too much about Daft Punk. We'll do some research in a minute. Yeah. All right. And the final comment comes from Lynn Monash or Lynn Monash. Uh, Lynn writes, hmm think you guys might need to see their daft punk medley next just to blow you out of your chairs strap in okay so we're gonna have to strap in for this one you want to strap in now or you want to wait a minute ah uh, i think we better just to be safe i think we gotta strap in now okay so, so i'm gonna i'm gonna just strap in first all right all right i'm good you in there tight yeah i'm good okay mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna Got it? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in. All right, we're good. We're not going anywhere. All right. So, Jared, on our last video, we asked the people to give us some input because we didn't really know too much about acapella. Yeah. So we said, what's allowed? Can you use your body? Can you stomp your feet? What can you do and what can't you do? And Basically, the resounding answer to this question was you can use any part of your body to create mm -hmm. sound. Right. But you can't use instruments. You can't use instruments. That's where it no longer becomes a cappella. Although they've said the voice is an instrument. Right. Right. But I think Pixelologist uh, gave us some good insight. And many of you did. It was hard to choose. Yeah. But Pixelologist says... Guys, the voice is an instrument as well. Acapella is simply making music without any instruments that aren't part of you. Voice is fine, obviously, and using your own body for percussive effects is definitely kosher as well. So, wow. Acapella is making any sound, singing, using your body as your instrument. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a, a true talent. You know, Pentatonix has talent. The several other groups that people yeah. have shared with us have extreme talent. Um, and I can't wait to mm -hmm. dig deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole. Yes, sir. All right. So before we get into the video, as we usually do, guys, we're going to do some research on Daft Punk. Like we said, we're not too familiar with their music, but we have heard of them yeah. and definitely have heard some of their songs. So Daft Punk were... So they're no longer active. It says were. Yeah. I and then did. it says years active, 1993 to 2021. Daft Punk were a French electronic music duo formed in 1993. Wow. In Paris by Guy Manuel de Homem Christo and Thomas Bangalter. Widely regarded as one of the most influential acts in dance music history, they achieved popularity in the late 1990s as part of the French house movement. Hmm. They garnered critical acclaim and commercial success in the years following, combining elements of house music with funk, 
techno, disco, hip hop, indie rock, and pop. I didn't know that they were around for that long. Yeah, that even before we were born. Before we were born. Because I can remember in the early 2000s hearing of Daft Punk. Yes. You know, whether it was like the MTV Music Awards or something. I remember hearing of them in the 2010s. Really? Yeah, for me, I don't know about the early 2000s, but yeah, they've they've they were active for nearly 30 years. That is. So what are some of their most popular songs that's what i'm yeah curious about okay so daft punk most popular songs get lucky is the one that you heard on repeat is it jared everybody knows this song uh, it doesn't ring a bell for me jared come on no 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 we can't play it i want to i want to hear pentatonix well version of it because i feel like you know the the thought behind a medley right mm -hmm. is to pick small portions of several different songs mm. you know a mixture of daft punk's entire discography really right yeah okay jared so starboy with the weekend what yeah daft punk was the that weekend featuring daft daft punk like produced by daft punk that's a good question it said they were an electronic music duo yeah so yeah, a lot of production. I don't know if any of them like sing, yeah, or anything like that, but let's let's search it up. Does Daft Punk use their voice? Daft Punk is well known for the use of talk boxes and vocoders on vocals in tracks like Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. Oh, that's a classic. You know that right song? There. Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. Oh, you mean the Kanye West song? Stronger. Huh, I might be That's getting that song. Yeah. No, I think that... Hold on, just search it up real quick. Hmm. Oh, wow. So that's... Check that out a little bit. Just let, let's see if... 2001, like. this was released. <laughs> I've never... Seen this? Some great animation for yeah. 2001. So it's dance music. wonder if Kanye West was influenced by this yeah it has to be right yeah this is in 20, 2001 right here sounds exactly like Kanye West song uh, there are a lot of vocal effect plugins already containing vocoders such as the isotope vocal synth uh, by combining auto-tune together with a vocoder you'll get the iconic Daft Punk robotic vocal sound so let me ask you this jared how in the world is an acapella group about to make robotic vocal sounds and that's a great question and like everybody's saying like this is one of their best pentatonics mm -hmm. one of their best performances or yeah. pieces the daft punk medley yeah this this is going to be a lot, I feel, only because yeah. a medley on its own is so, you know, such a task. Yeah. You know, and to perform a medley at a high level is a task in mm. and of itself. But when you're performing a medley of Daft Punk, I assume that's an even more difficult task. If not one of the hardest yeah. tasks to perform as... A vocalist, a beatboxer, a percussionist. Yes. <laughs> without using instruments or a vocoder, Jared, or auto-tune. Yeah. Maybe that's why they, they wanted to do it. And I think people said they won a Grammy for this song. Wow. Pentatonix. So one final thing we're, we're going to look into real quick. 
like we said, we're brand new to to Pentatonix, and you guys have provided us with a bunch of um, great information, useful information about the members. Yes, because many people have informed us that one member of the group had to leave, and he was replaced by another member. Avi Kaplan uh, was replaced by Matt Sally. How do you pronounce his name? It's Sally. Yep, by by Matt Sally, and and Avi is the one here in the top left corner uh, who people said in the Hallelujah video looked like Jesus, <laughs> and he was the one providing the bass. Yes, in Hallelujah, that yes. deep bass. All right, uh, so let's just acquaint ourselves with. Mm each member before we jump into it yeah um and to do so we're going to read a wonderful comment that came in from Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. uh so Ezekiel writes great reaction to be honest you guys reacted just like how any other first time pentatonix listener would react first off let me introduce you to the members and their roles first we have scott hoying He's the tall blonde guy that started us off. Scott is the baritone of the group. He has a big range that allows him to cover the bass line when the actual bass has his solo. Hmm. Okay, so Scott is the one in the top right. Right here. Yep, yep. that's Scott. All right, next we have Avriel Kaplan or just Avi Kaplan. Yep. He's the guy with the long hair, beard, and beanie who came in with the second verse in the Hallelujah video. Mm -hmm. uh, Avi is the bass of the group, that deep bass. Yeah. He also has a big range because he can not only go deeper than a rumble, but he can sing in a good baritone slash tenor range, just like he did in Hallelujah. Uh. All right. So that, uh, so this is Avi right here. So we have Avi and scott mm -hmm. okay uh, next we have kirsten maldonado or kirsty for short uh, she is the female in the group kirsten is a mezzo soprano which usually means that she can have a darker tone to her voice while still being able to go almost as high as a soprano almost mm. interesting next up is mitch grassy he's the guy wearing the Big hat with the angelic voice in the Hallelujah video. Uh, Mitch is a natural counter tenor with a vocal range of six octaves. Counter tenor is the rarest vocal type for males and usually is characterized by a high pitched voice throughout, meaning that it's always like that. There are two types of counter tenors. Natural countertenors and trained countertenors. Natural meaning that their voices were always like that, and trained meaning that they are baritones and tenors that have trained to go as high as sopranos. So uh, Mitch right there is the one uh, where people say, we got Mitch slapped. Which is absolutely what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> and that's like... When people started writing that in, I was like, there's no better term to describe the effect that Mitch had on us. Yeah. I mean, getting Mitch slapped, as we know now, looks like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> complete shock. And that makes sense why. Yeah. As Ezekiel has lined out very well. Yeah. So getting Mitch slapped looks like your jaw dropping. <laughs> you know, right when he begins singing. Mm. That's what a Mitch slap is. So last but certainly not least is Kevin Olusola. Kevin is the beatboxer of the group and he's mm. also a tenor. He has a really sweet voice and due to him having to beatbox, he rarely sings. Kevin easily is the most volatile member of the group because he can beatbox, sing, and play a cello. Do they mean versatile? Versatile. Versatile. Yes. So Kevin is very versatile. Also, Avi left the group in 2017, and that's when Matt Solly came in. So there's your history right there. That's, I mean, that's pretty much all we need to know. 
That's it. That's that's a wonderful breakdown of each member. Yeah, thank you so much, Ezekiel. And you know, we may not know all the the terms, but I I think Ezekiel described it for the layperson like us yeah. um, to understand who each member is and you know what their specific role is and right. their their ability. Yep, Jared, I think it's time to get into it. Let's go. You're still buckled up. Yeah, I, th I think it it came a little loose, so I gotta Just tighten it up a bit. Yeah, me. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm Wait, good. you just rebuckled it, or what'd you just do? Yeah, I had to rip it out. Uh, it was uh, a little loose, so I had to rebuckle. Okay, I'm just gonna tighten mine up really quick, guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Nice. Pentatonics. Daft Punk. Let's go. Medley. Let's go. Here we go. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag and drop it, zip, unzip it, lock it, save it, call it, find it, do it, go it, jam it, lock it, surf it, scroll it, pause it, click it, cross it, back it, switch it, paint it, paint it, paint it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, touch, rename it, touch it, print it, play it, touch it, technologic, one more time. <laughs> One more time. Like the legend of the Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it keeps the planet spinning. Uh, oh, <laughs> You know their songs now, right? Yes, yes. Jared, again, so easy to forget that everything they're doing is coming from their body. It's coming from their voice. Like, I when when the first beat came in, right? Yeah. I had a moment in my head where I literally had to tell myself, yep. oh, remember mm -hmm. there are no outside instruments other than their voices and their bodies i had to intentionally tell myself that it's incredible one more time who's that mitch mitch that was mitch saying that singing an angelic voice oh all right Oh. Oh. Last night I had a dream about you in the stream I'm dancing right beside you There's nothing wrong with just a little bit of fun We were dancing all night long Oh mm. Jared, that dance music. Yes. How can you replicate dance music? EDM, that boom, 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 boom. That's the question. How can you possibly replicate such challenging EDM music? Right? Jared, boom, boom, boom. The bass, it like, and then you got the whoosh, whoosh, yeah. whoosh. <laughs> It's incredible. That is insanity. Yeah. I want to know if, if it took them multiple different takes each in the studio to get their part down. Yeah. And sort of how they go about recording this. Mm. Do they all go into separate, uh, you know, booths and do it 
at the same time or do they record their part and just add on from there that's a great question um like right now just looking at them everything is completely in sync yeah completely in sync and i love the you know how they've done their visuals here Mm -hmm. where you get boxes of each person it's yep this is fantastic and i mean somebody said that they have a live performance of this Mm. just sort of a casual performance where you get to see who's making what noises so i think oh wow we might want to watch that after this Avi's voice. That's Avi's voice, right? Avi's the robot. Ah, he's the robot. Avi's the robot, Jordan. Let me see. Let right? me go back real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> what in the world? Yeah. Yeah. Jared. There's so many aspects of this that like we can we can't even do it justice mm-hmm. the snare do you hear the snare <laughs> it just sounds like a, a snare they like just just no no that's coming from somebody's mouth jared yeah you understand that yeah and avi is indeed the robot yes they couldn't have picked a more challenging task yeah they didn't just pick one daft punk song mm-hmm. they're doing a medley but you're they're weaving these songs together effortlessly yeah there's obviously not the only robot here who's the other robot all of them explain there's a spectrum of robot voice <laughs> from the very very deep robot like avi yeah. oh. <laughs> oh. to the very high robot i want to see mitch become a robot mitch is morphing into a dance edm pop star yeah. in this song he's yeah. carrying the group with the with the soprano or the the yeah the high notes when when, when one I, more time <laughs> like what in the world when avi first did his deep robotic voice jordan yeah if there's a term for it i got avi slapped <laughs> whatever whatever that term is yeah like wow let's hear that again <laughs> Oh my god. Music's got me feeling so free. Celebrating dance mm. so free. The air. One more time, music's got me feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance so free. Tonight, the hey, just feel it. <laughs> Did you see that? That that's what I was talking about. They're all robots. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna replay it. Yes. (laughs) 
Wait, I want to replay that one more time. Our work is never over. Each of them have a different sound that they produce here. Exactly. Look. Never over. Avi just ends it with the deep. Hold on, one more time. Unbelievable, unbelievable. We're not doing it justice. No, we're, because we we're not too familiar with the musical terms, and Ezekiel tried to explain them to us, but they're doing something that is beyond our surface level explanation here. I just can't get over the amount of production going on here right jordan this is not a simple one or two uh instrument oh yeah yeah oh yeah you understand like daft punk when i assume when they're putting together just one of these songs <laughs> think about all that they're doing in creating that song jordan the complexity, complexity. of what they're doing but Jared, even it goes beyond just putting it together. You you saw the um when we read the they'll use the auto tune and the vocoder yes. to produce a specific sound. A distinct sound that you have to go out of your way to create. Right. And all Avi has to do is open his mouth to create. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's unreal. I don't know about you, Jared, but for some reason, the most impressive sound that I heard was the snare. I, I don't know if I caught that. Exactly. Mm. That's the point. Yeah. Because it just sounded like it was a beat playing behind. Yeah. Like you you don't catch a snare or a hi-hat when a regular beat is playing. Yes. That's why it was so impressive. I'm like, what the, how, how do you make that sound with your mouth? How do you make a snare sound with your mouth? How do you make a whistling wind chime sound with your mouth it makes no sense man it it's like it's just it's gift it's a gift yeah i i don't think i needed this seatbelt <laughs> only because their voices and and their sound have me strapped in mm. yep seatbelt or not yeah i'm not going anywhere right i'm hooked Right, Jordan? You're sitting here and you're hooked. Right? You're not moving. You can't you can't move your body because they're overwhelming you with this diversity of musical expression mm. and sound up and down. Mm. Five different people hitting you at all times. There was not one silent moment here. Right. Right? So you're flooded and you don't need a seatbelt. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we wore it just for safety I'm purposes. just going to unbuckle. I'm going to yeah. unbuckle mine real quick. All right, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, Jared. I don't know. This was fantastic. The the snare. I want to hear that real quick. Jared. Oh. absolutely incredible <laughs> real quick jared let's search up them performing this song and then we'll yeah. uh, we'll wrap it up so this was on april 14th 2016 during one of their tours backstage in orlando they mm -hmm. gave a private concert make a wish foundation to the make a wish foundation here we go Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail it, grade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, fight it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, play it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, bust it, knock it, tear it, call it, find it, feel it, throw it, jam it, lock it, surf it, scroll it, pause it, click it, cross it, crash it, switch, update it, name it, play it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, box, rename it, touch it, bring it, pay it, wash it, check the logic one more time. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. Avi's just waiting to turn into a robot. you can just throw your your earlier question away there mm-hmm. you know do they record all at the same time do they record separately it does not matter yeah they can get in a, a different booth at the same time all of them and just just let it go it does not matter like jordan do you know how difficult it is no i don't uh, look aside from aside from what they're doing musically to remember the arrangement and everything of the medley this isn't one song. They've they've turned 10 different Daft Punk songs into one song that each of them remembered their individual part. Yeah. It's mind-blowing. Yeah. Again, Kevin <laughs> was making that snare for me. I don't know why I'm fixated on the snare. <laughs> it's just... Oh, you heard it again. I, I heard it again, and I was wondering how he was doing that. And Mitch... I mean, the voice is just beyond angelic. Yeah, Mitch. Um, I I got Mitch slapped again this episode. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and Avi for me, he. I mean, he's just he's controlling the entire bass line. Yes. For for most of it, I believe. I don't know. I I can't tell. He's the foundation, Jordan. I mean, he's the bass line, and then, I mean, there's nothing. Nothing happens without Kevin. I mean, nothing really happens without any of them, Jordan. Yeah. But Kevin is over there just working. 
he's holding down the entire beat. Yes. While his his group members each do their part. Kirsty, it's it's very interesting as uh, Ezekiel said, Kirsten is a mezzo soprano, which usually means that she can have a darker tone mm. to her voice while still being able to go almost as high as a soprano. Right. So she's not she's not a soprano. Exactly, but you you get that you get that darker high pitched feel you know not as high as mitch but you know a little darker a little a little, little lower but a beautiful voice yeah and then last but not least scott right the baritone of the group yeah big range that allows him to cover the bass line when the actual bass has his solo yeah so that's an interesting thing because i a lot of times don't know where the bass is coming from and they say that avi and scott switch on and off Mm. on the bass right yeah depending on who's doing the the solo yeah but I, amazing once again Jared, just the way they feed off each other the way they know their role and play their role perfectly i'm just astounded by the ever effortlessness yeah. and, and that only comes by working so hard and being in in sync mm -hmm. at a level that all that 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 takes years yeah right and that's how you get this effortless feel it definitely knocked us out of our seats in the uh, metaphorical sense yeah Just, it made me fixated even more i couldn't move from my seat yes like it's hard to believe it's possible mm -hmm. that's what that's what it made me feel like how is this possible um anyway guys yeah thanks so much for pointing us in this direction and we have many more on the list that you all have have mentioned to us but where should we go after this we have a few ideas in mind uh but you all know best you know is when it i bohemian rhapsody but it might be bohemian rhapsody is or it imagine it, imagine by john lennon right <laughs> gold i've heard gold by is it kiara really yeah the the popular pop song a few years ago oh i've heard rihanna medley uh I may have heard a Beyonce medley. I don't know if somebody wrote that in. Yeah, I but mean, so many that they just say are, are mind-blowing. So let us know what's next, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you all for giving us so much helpful, insightful input into the group, acapella, all the details that we asked you to provide us. Truly appreciate it. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And subscribe down below and turn on those notifications but most importantly be kind and keep an open mind everybody peace